a UNESCO World Heritage Site, Cusco is hands down one of the most beautiful and fascinating cities on the planet. And even though this isn't my first time here, I'm excited to spend the day exploring while getting acclimatized to being at 11,000 feet. The contrasts between the indigenous styles and the modern Western world are remarkable. Once the capital of the Inca Empire, remains from the ancient Inca walls are everywhere, made from huge granite blocks carved to fit perfectly with each other. In many cases, these walls provide the foundation for the Spanish architecture, which appeared following their invasion in the early 1500s. <laughs> Except they kind of smell bad. Although I could spend days exploring Cusco and the ruins that overlook it, I'm here because it's the gateway to the Sacred Valley, the heart of the Inca Empire, and the home to a variety of ancient Inca ruins, including the fabled Machu Picchu. And so I head out to start my journey in Pisac, where I'll connect with a couple of guides from Mountain Lodges of Peru. Hola. Hola. Como esta? Yeah. Is that Eric, right? Eric, yes. Yeah, this is Silver. Silver? Hi, I'm Liz. Liz. Yes. Nice hey. to meet you. Are you ready for it? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's Excellent. check it out. Let's go. Yeah. yeah, oh man, I love Peru. I've done a bunch of traveling in Peru. So these are Kui, little yeah. guinea pigs. Super cute. But it's also like one of the uh, local delicacies to eat that. So uh, here in the oven they were just cooking a bunch of kui up, pulling these cute little creatures right out of the oven. Kind of breaks your heart. <laughs> but they taste real good. Look at that guy, how could you eat that guy? So cute. The plan for today is to head up into the mountains to a small village named Viacha, which provides a stunning hike down to the ruins from above. Hey, Silver, how, how high up are we actually going? We're going up to 13,200 feet. Before setting out on our hike, there's a culinary treat waiting for us in Viacha. Our hosts are preparing a Pachamanca, which means earth pot. In homage to the goddess Pachamama, who we call Mother Earth, the ancient Inca dish is cooked underground with hot stones. Before the food is served, though, a ritual offering is made to Pachamama. Mm. Okay, más o más Lucas, Pacheri, Germán, Pa Andrés, Waldi, la panchis pa alguien guata cachón, corre con el río, a las pachi pa panchis a poco no su tiempo su magta, bendición de hoy con Kiko, corre con el río su magta, se llama, ya, la panchis su tiempo. We're going hiking all the way down to the valley. That's a long way down. With full bellies, we begin our hike, and it feels great to be walking again. Now that we're moving, I'm really looking forward to seeing the Pisac ruins, because next to Machu Picchu, they're widely considered to be the other must-see Inca ruins. how all the Inca cities take uh, or follow the original uh, mountain shape. So that's why we have these buildings on top of the hill. Yeah. We have to go down and up again. Yeah. Right. What we do now before building is make it flat, make, it, make something flat and build on top. But for these people in the past times, mountains were very important uh, uh, and they had to uh, keep their original shape of yeah. the without destroying it, so they built according to the mountain. Well, it was a pretty incredible day hiking here to down the way to Pisac and exploring Pisac. Uh, this place just blows my mind. I think it's only gonna get better from here. Can't wait to see what else Peru has to offer. <laughs>